the Buffalo Bills, they have a lot of notable free agents. Their free agents are Trent Murphy, Tyler Croft, Josh Norman, John Feliciano, Brian Winters, Andre Roberts, Daryl Williams, Levi Wallace, and Matt Milano. In my opinion, the perfect dream scenario would be you got to re-sign Matt Milano. I know some mock drafts have the Bills taking a linebacker. I'm pretty sure uh, John Bolton's name came up. But, I mean, Nick Bolton's name came up. But for me, Matt Milano, when he's on the field, the Bills are a, are a just, they're a different defense. They cannot afford to let Matt Milano go because he's so good at blitzing and he's so good at covering. You can't let him go. And also, the Bills can create $20 plus million in cap space by releasing John Brown, Quentin Jefferson, and Cole Beasley. They can create $16 plus million if they release just Quentin Jefferson and John Brown, and I think that's what they will and should do because I think Gabe Davis has shown he can, he can take a next step to be a very good wide receiver in this league. He was a rookie last year. He had a very good season. I think you should have him start next year. For me, you sign back Daryl Williams, Matt Milano, and one of the guards, John Feliciano, preferably. And in free agency, you got to target an edge rusher because that's the position they need the most, whether it's Trey Hendrickson or even a guy who's slept on but who gets a lot of sacks is Marcus Golden, who was with the Giants and last previous year was with the Cardinals. He's another good guy. And you also got to get some secondary help because I don't think Josh Norman is the same and Levi Wallace has shown his tendencies to not be that rely, reliable at times. You're not going to like this pick because he's a Jet, but Brian Poole would be perfect with, for the Buffalo Bills. They would have a, a good, very good slot corner, and Brian Poole would make that secondary really good. So for me, I think the Bills don't have to fill much positions. I think they can address the guard position in the draft. They can sign a corner. Of course, you've re-signed Matt Milano. But as of now, the only positions plaguing the Bills are edge rusher and running back. And like I mean, like seriously plaguing the Bills are edge rusher and running back. Outside of that, I think they're good. Yeah, I think the Bills are in a great position this offseason. Their money situation isn't great, but I agree. They should look into making some cuts, especially the wide receiver position, John Brown and Cole Beasley. They've been great for the Bills the past few years, but I would let them walk and save that money. Um I think there are two free agents that they should really look at bringing back. One is Matt Milano for all the reasons you said. He is such an integral part of that defense. And two, I feel like they should look at bringing back at least one of the offensive linemen that are free agents this offseason. And the guy that I would bring back is Darrell Williams at that right tackle position. Um, I, I don't think they're going to be able to bring back all three with their money situation. But between Brian Winters, John Feliciano, and Darrell Williams, Darrell Williams is the guy that I would keep. And then I would look to maybe fill in those two guard spots during the draft at some point. Um, but I, I don't think they're in bad shape offensively. I would argue, I, I would attempt to target maybe a, a lower tier wide receiver. Obviously, it's a very deep class, but I think there are some names towards the bottom. A guy who was a Jet this past year, Brashad Perryman, I think would be a nice pairing with Stephon Diggs. You could probably get him for cheap because he didn't have a great season statistically. And just to give a, a viable number two, if you're getting rid of John Brown and Cole Beasley, I also like Gabe Davis, but I do think that adding in a more established number two slash number three type would be the right move for this offense. I would like to see them go out and give Josh Allen an extension. I think that he's earned it and it would, it would help them out moving forward with the season. So that's not something that looms over them all year. We've seen it in the past, how contract negotiations during the season can go wrong. So I feel like getting it done now, this off season would be a smart move. And you mentioned edge rusher. There are so many names that are available one guy that I would target, I, I, I don't know if they'll have the money to sign him, depending on where they go elsewhere, but I would look at Shaq Barrett. He had an incredible season with the Buccaneers. I mean, he's one of the best in the league at the edge rushing position, and he would really make that defense uh, uh, one of the better units in the league if you could bring him in and shore up that one big hole on the defense. So if you bring in a guy like Shaq Barrett, it will be huge. But there's a bunch of guys at that position. 
even if it's a guy like Yann- Yannick Ngakwe, Trey Hendrickson, Matthew Judon. So there are a bunch of different ways that they could go with that edge rushing position. But I feel like that's the that's the big need they need to address. So if they're going to bring in one big free agent, it should be at the edge rushing position. So for me, I, I would not cut Cole Beasley, even though I think the, the money does make sense for them to do it. But I think I would not cut Cole Beasley. But if they do go that route, then I wouldn't bring in Brashard Perriman because he's an outside wide receiver. He can't really line up anywhere else in the field. He's not that good. And I wouldn't even say he's an established wide receiver. He's he's a risk as well, especially with his injury history. I think Gabe Davis can be that second wide receiver. And for me, I'd bring in a guy in Kendrick Bourne to be that slot receiver and to help out the Bills in there. And I think even though I like Dawson Knox, he hasn't been what – what we thought he was going to be. He had a pretty good rookie season and really didn't build off of that. I'd bring in another receiver at tight end who is not a very good blocker, but a very good receiver in Gerald Everett. I think Gerald Everett is going to be cheap. He's fast and he can line up anywhere on the field. He's not a very good blocker, but I think the bills can live with that, especially since they're not a run heavy offense, but we all know Running back is a, is the position that the that the Bills should look to get. I don't think they should spend big money on anybody in this class. I think you draft a running back. And, of course, the name that pops up is Najee Harris. But he's probably going to be a first rounder or early second rounder. So, for me, I draft Trey Sermon with the late round pick or in the third round or the first fourth round. I draft Trey Sermon. I think he can be that power back that the Bills want and they need. And Trey Sermon, he's shown enough in big games with Ohio State that he can be that horse horse work back, that workhorse running back. So I draft him, and instead in the first round, if I'm the Bills, I look to build the guard position and the offensive line because, like you said, I don't think they bring back Brian Winters, and John Feliciano is a big question mark. So you got to bring in a guy at guard. I'd go with Wyatt Davis. But there's also guys like Elijah Vera Tucker that you can very well go with. So you can go with one of these guys, but you got to fill in that guard position. And obviously, in my opinion, an offensive line, regardless of position, is more important than the running back. So you got to have a good offensive line before you have a great running back. They got to build that first, draft Trey Sermon later in the draft. Yeah, I agree. I would go guard with the first round pick and, and try and build up that offensive line, not, o- not only now, but for the future, because you're probably going to be looking to keep this core together for the next couple of years. I think they have a really good, young, talented team. I don't think they have to do much this offseason, but there are a couple of positions of need. The edge rusher is the first one that comes to mind. Figuring out how they're going to sort out that offensive line is the next big issue I would tackle. And then running back for me would be the third big I wouldn't even call it a problem because I don't think it's really holding them back too much but it could be the move to take them to that next level if they bring in a running back whether it's through the later rounds of the draft or paying one of the lower tier free agent running backs I think that could really help out Josh Allen because you looked at him in the playoffs this year they didn't run the ball at all especially the game against the Ravens you know I don't think they ran the ball more than five times in the first half so I think bringing in a running back could be a huge help to Josh Allen this offseason. 